Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It's Saturday morning. I'm about to drink actually not my coffee, my apple cider vinegar today, but we're going to talk about what happened on SmackDown last night because a lot happened. So, uh, we begin the show, of course, with the recap about what happened at Money in the Bank, that devastating loss to the bloodline that Cody, KO, and Randy Orton face. And then we go into this whole segment with Tiffany. I liked it. Um, I mean, like, we all know at some point Tiffany is turning on Nia Jax, right? I think that's just clear. Um, maybe that's when they'll make her a baby face. I can't imagine that ever making Nia Jax a baby face. She has such great heat, and they really need women like that. Um, I love the Meacham. You know I love her. I'm happy she's getting screen time because I think she's great. And I was happy with that. Of course, we knew Nia was going to win that match. Um, but I think what they try to do is show holes. So, so far they've shown that Bailey can be a large woman who's hard to beat in Piper Niven. And then we're seeing like little holes in like Nia Jax and how you can like get her on the ground and that kind of stuff. Um, so we will see what happens. Interesting. The whole thing where like, uh, Tiff was there, like, I'm going to catch him. And then it, the tension between the two. So I like I said, I like that. Like where this is going. I think we have a lot of angles and things going on with that. We should have a lot of women's matches on this on this episode, which I'm not hating, but kind of interesting to me. Um, I want to talk about the backstage segment with Chelsea Green. So of course Chelsea had a couple of backstage segments, the neck brace, the whole thing. Women sold that table like. She's fabulous. Love the backstage stuff with her and with um, Pretty Deadly. Thought that was cute. I mean, they both add comic relief to any show they're on. Um, the Naomi match um, against, I'm blanking on her name right now, the new girl from NXT. It'll come to me probably halfway through talking about this. But I like the match. I thought it was really good back and forth. Glad Naomi won because I feel like she's putting over a lot of talent lately. And, like, she needs to show, again, why she is so great. Um, and I like the little backstage thing, too, personally. I thought it was a nice little thing. I think it showed the girl was a heel. And I think they could build a program with those two. Um, with all of that, like, um, can we just talk about Bianca Belair's amazing leopard outfit? Like, where did she get that? Who made that? How do I get that in my life? Um, I love that her and Jade both had the leopard. Um, Jade looked fabulous too, but there was something about Bianca's outfit. I was just like, I want that. Like, please, please give it to me. I need this in my life. Um, let's talk about the Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes backstage segment. Very cute. Very sweet. I think like, like Randy's still kind of acting like a mentor to Cody, which we know he was when Cody first started in the, you know, at, in the main roster, um, of WWE back in the day, one thing, because, you know, I love the little Easter eggs and little, like, hints they drop, you know, in on WWE, the last line about Randy talking about everyone will be coming for this title, but I'll still have your back. You know, kind of insinuating he's not going to go after that title. I don't buy that. I think if there was any point that they could turn Randy heel, it would be after this Bloodline storyline's done and finally going after that belt again. Because I can't believe Randy is not going to go for one more championship run. He's a 14-time champion. We know he's a couple behind Cena. There's a lot of talk about Cena maybe getting one more championship during his like farewell tour. So... I just don't buy that. I think if you're Randy is such a great heel that I could see that being where they turn him heel. Or I could see them using that to turn Cody heel. Because there's been a lot of talk about like Cody would be such a great heel, da da da. I personally just love, love, love Cody. I can't imagine him as a heel, but I can see how that storyline could build him into a heel. And I think some of the seeds will be planted for Randy to turn on Cody for what happened at the end of the show. Ultimately, I feel like that is what's going to come back around to 
make Randy want that championship and feud with Cody, which I think could be an epic feud. Epic. Those two are amazing in the ring. Randy is just the best of the best of the best at doing this, especially on TV. And I could see those matches being amazing and then building a whole program around it. But for now, I'm happy with them being friends. I did love that little moment, though, feeling, oh, the mentor and the mentor. Okay. That brings us to the end of the show. Um, I think they did a great job. One, taking out DIY, who, I mean, one, the Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, we know they're breaking up. They're going to feud with each other. It's going to be great. And that match just kind of added to it. But I think because DIY are such baby faces, I think taking them out was a great way of being like, where are people to help? Still, where were freaking other people to help? But I'll get to that. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Um, yeah, so they take out DIY. They make Jacob Fratu look unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he is so committed to this character. And he sells this character so well. Like, I believe it. Um, where has this man been? Thank you, WWE, for finally signing him. Thank you, because we need a Jacob Fratu in our lives. And I'm personally so grateful for it. Um, so Jacob taking them all out. Then, of course, we have the whole thing with Cody. Oops. Then we have the whole thing with Cody coming to the ring. That face, I could tell how mad Cody was. And, of course, the circling of the sharks in that final attack. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, destroying Cody and Randy. One, where were security guards? Why were there only these referees that can do nothing? Where were security guards? Where were other baby faces to help them? Because everyone should be sick of this stuff. Um, those are my rants. I think the making Cody watch as his mentor, again, after this very sweet moment backstage, is annihilated by the bloodline is unbelievable they have set up the stakes for SummerSlam so well and we have a couple more weeks i think it'll end up being like a cage match it has to be at this level the next thing they need to do is elevate this match and i feel like it has to be a hell in the cell or a cage match i mean like how else do you do this um that's my opinion. That's where I would go. But again, I'm not writing the show. Um, I also think they have set it up very well for a Roman return. And I think with Jimmy. Because the other interesting thing was this is the first time Solo in his monologue, in his like little diatribe thing he did, mentioned the attack on Jimmy. We haven't seen Jimmy in like, what, months at this point? And so I think mentioning him was planting seeds for Jimmy to come back with Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. My only question is, I think we're building to Bloodline versus Bloodline at Survivor Series and War Games, but with that, we got a couple of months to build that. So where does that leave the Cody part of the story? Like, the, that's the part I'm not really clear about. Like, how do we get from the Cody, Randy, who have been annihilated and deserve to get revenge on what happened to them, how do we get from there to Survivor Series, Bloodline versus Bloodline? But I'm gonna, I can't wait to see this ride. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts. Justice for Randy Orton, justice for Cody. I mean, annihilation at the end of that show. And I was like here for it. So I, of course, can't wait for Monday night to see Mommy. Let me know your thoughts on uh, SmackDown from last night, where you think it's going. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think is going to happen next? And I will see you guys all on Tuesday morning, if not sooner, to talk more wrestling with y'all. All right. Bye.